so after you um, defeated the Spirit Squad, you kind of went into like a low um, until turn and seven, when you guys suddenly disappeared off TV. And this is something that had that had always been like an, been an internet rumor. When you guys were released, was it uh, in turn and seven? Was it for attacking a referee at a house show? Um, it was for that, and it was for uh, backstage problems we have with Lance, Lance Cade and Trevor, Mur- Trevor Murdoch. You know, um, Lance mm-hmm. Cade, God rest the guy's soul. You know, um, Lance Cade was a great guy away from wrestling. Away from wrestling, uh, I thought Lance was, you know, the, one of the nicest guys, a good father to his kids, you know, the kind of guy you can go out and have a beer with and, you know, drink with and have fun. But when it came to wrestling, Lance was a total dick. You know, I mean, just a straight asshole. And <clears throat> he didn't make any bones to, you know, take, make any friends with a lot of guys. And, you know, need, I, was, I wasn't one of them. You know, we had a really good friendship in OVW. And then when it came to have a WWE, you know, it was more of he wanted to be this really kind of kind of a bully to other guys. But I'm not really somebody that, you know, can be bullied very easily. So, you know. Mm. So following your release, uh, you started posting on the internet the, uh, the initials T-N-A-B. And people were like, this means T-N-A bound. But then one night on Raw, <laughs> you guys made your, your sudden return. And then we found out that it means those are back. And that return... <laughs> oh, God. I can say it, you can. But <laughs> well, I can say it. That's right. I'm quite <laughs> English. <I'm thinking. laughs> no, but uh, you know what's funny about that? Actually, uh, because we uh, because um, we didn't put that on the internet until the day we flew to Miami after Mania, and we, like we, the the day of WrestleMania, we flew we flew into Miami. Two weeks before that, um, Umaga, Shelton, and Carly uh, had taken me and my partner out to dinner because uh, my partner was in town because we were training to get ready to go back. We were training at Booker T's PWA, and uh, Umaga took us out to dinner. And he's like, "Hey, man, WrestleMania is in two weeks." And we had been signed for, you know, about three months before this already. But we, we, we didn't tell anybody. Like, we didn't tell, our, we didn't tell our families. We didn't tell, you know, any of our friends. We, just, uh, we were told to keep it a secret. And so Umaga is at dinner with us. We're all eating sushi. And he's like, hey, man. He's like, beast, man. I love you like a brother. You know, Jay, you cool as hell, too. Next week, uh, in two weeks, we got, we got WrestleMania. I want, you to, I want you guys to come with me. You guys are going to be my guests. We're going to sit down and talk to Vince, and we're going to get you guys hired again. And, <laughs> you know, we're like, oh, shit, we're already hired. So we don't want to be, you know, fucked up to our boys. So I was like, all right. I was like, oos, you know, thank you very much, man. But I think I'm going to just play it cool and not do it. And he got mad, like really hot. And he's like cussing and screaming. I was like, man, man, fuck y'all, man. I'm trying to be nice and try to help y'all out. Come on, man. <laughs> and we're like, nah, man, it's okay. It's okay. Don't, don't worry. So after he got really mad, he's seen us. He's like, we put that TNA thing on the Internet that night we flew out. His first phone call to was to me, and he was like, "Yo, man, don't go to TNA. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, no. I can get you guys back. I can get you." I was like, "Ooh, I was like, Ooh don't worry about it. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow." And it was funny because I got a phone call from Matt Morgan also, because <laughs> he knew that I was in my he knew that I was uh, in uh, Orlando at the time, and he was like uh, scared of what I was going to do. He thought I was going to jump the railing at the, at Monday Night Raw and proclaim TNA. <laughs> so, you know, Matt was like, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. That's not going to help and stuff like that. So it was kind of funny because, like, none of our boys knew. And then when we, when we revealed it, they were all like, ah, you got us. So. 